Shelly George. Oh, nice to meet you too. Um, I need help finding another job. No. Video program? Yes, I have heard of it. To help me find a job more uh, to, for my situation, being hard of hearing, um, I need help finding something else to do other than what I've been. Um, nobody knows. <laughs> It came about um, about 14. I started losing my hearing a little at a time, and uh, by 23, I was wearing hearing aids, and it, it slowed decline from there. Um, no, I don't know. The UNT had no idea. My grandma in her 80s started wearing hearing aids. <laughs> Nothing. Okay. 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 All right. <clears throat> After high school, I went to beauty school. Um, I was working as a cosmetologist at, uh, by 19, and I've done that for 25 years. But my hearing is getting where why well, can't well, I refuse to answer the phone anymore because I cannot get names and numbers. Um, I can't hear the person in my chair anymore. Um, I have to come around to the front and face them a lot. And when I go back behind them, I can't hear any anymore what they're saying. So if they talk a lot, I have to stop and keep going forward or spinning them around. And it slows down time. And, for the, and then when the noise gets too bad, when there's more than, say, two of us working at a time, the noise is so great, I, I can't understand anything. And at that point, I become a very boring hairdresser. And I'm in Arizona. When I lived in Arizona, I had my clientele conditioned to it, and I had no idea. But when I moved to Salt Lake three years ago and tried to start again, it was... Uh, not easy. <laughs> um, 
No, I'm always right up front. I, I repeat back everything, and sometimes in a different way to make sure I got it right. But then I go back behind, and I'm, I'm again the boring hairdresser, and it takes a lot of personality to keep customers. Yeah, um, the last audiogram I had, the speech discrimination part, the woman was doing it, and I had 30% and like 25% of speech discrimination. It's like the classic ski slope loss, and I've lost some of these tones altogether, and I have a mild loss in the low tones. Pitches. Black run. Phone act natives. I think four. No, I didn't have Bluetooth capabilities when I bought them. A, a FM system hooked up to the, re the FM receiver built into my hearing aid. No. No, I had a bad experience with... Um, one of the other girls trying to force me to answer the phone all the time. She was nice, and, but it was just a lot of pressure from her to answer the phone, and I just couldn't do it anymore. So I just, I sort of quit. Even though everybody else was okay with it, I, I worked next to the one, and I just had the pressure all the time. Yeah, well, the phone is a building clientele. You try to, we hope for the new, new clients to come in and I can book them with me. But if I can't answer the phone, I lose the ability, some ability to get clients. I did that my, my whole life, <laughs> adult life. I have thought about uh, massage because that shouldn't involve a lot of talking. <laughs> Okay, that sounds good. Okay. 
Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Well, that's good. Thank you. Nice to meet you too.